body decoration. How do you judge a book? These tattoos belong to Utsi, an ancient caveman. Utsi possesses the oldest known tattoos, thought to be for medical purposes. The Japanese Ainu tattoos took place on adolescent females. By adulthood, the process is completed, making it so the evil may not enter their bodies through the mouth. The Maori tattoo their bodies with a spiral based design. The position of these tattoos vary between gender. The tattoos arise from legend and the beginning of Maori history. Henna is a temporary tattoo. It is used to dye the skin and hair, being used from as far as 6,000 years ago. Now it is commonly used as a skin dye for elaborate decoration in traditions such as for religion and marriage. Tattoos in prisons are often obtained to show allegiance to a group or gang. Many demonstrate a group's crest, but others are more personal, demonstrating the characteristics of the owner to others physically. Piercing. Over time and in different cultures, body piercings have been used for different purposes and meanings. For ritual appearance, as an act of rebellion, for sexual purposes, for medical reasons, and for wealth. For example, the young girls of Borneo believe their ears are designed to hold loops, whose size and weight increase with the wearer's wealth and wish to be admired. Makeup. Makeup throughout cultures varies. For example, Japanese geishas were characteristic white facial makeup. Cash also provided evidence that makeup has a beautifying effect on facial attractiveness. This can be seen from beauty competitions like Miss World. Jewelry. Wedding rings are worn as a way of expressing love and commitment. It is used in religion as a way of expressing beliefs. In Indian weddings, brides are adorned in lots of gold and jewellery. Jewellery also demonstrates power and wealth. In ancient Egypt, it was used to ward off evil as a form of protection, and in Western culture, it is used for fashion in everyday circumstances. Scarification is when the body is cut or burnt to produce scars. In African tribal culture, it is used as a rite to initiate people into adulthood. In some places, the scars are also considered beautiful and sexually arousing to men. Bloody, I'm not really blinded. Um, yeah, I've got a tattoo on my arm. Um, I have uh, earrings and highlights and I wear makeup. I don't have any body decoration. Um, I'm not really sure why. Um, I just don't feel I need it. Um, because it basically reminds me of my Grandparents? Um, I wear earrings because everyone else does really and it's a nice accessory to go with your outfit. Um, I wear makeup so like you can like stop yourself from looking so rough when you've been really tired in the morning. It's just generally nicer. And I have highlights so my hair doesn't look so bouncy. Um, I think on balance I don't think they do because when you see someone walking down the street and they've got sort of loads of body piercings or tattoos, I don't really take much notice of them and I think everyone's entitled to look how they want to. Maybe it's different in a job kind of aspect, but on balance I don't think they do. I don't think it's deemed socially acceptable because it's mainly associated with gang culture. I think people um, with tattoos get discriminated. Um, I know where I worked they had to hide theirs with long sleeve shirts and trousers. And uh, guys with earrings tend to get discriminated too. Um, I know people who have not got jobs because of it, which sort of isn't very good, is it? Um, yeah.